Vanmita Adimulam, currently a third year aerospace engineering student. So as a project manager and the team leader, I oversee and manage the entire project. University of Science Malaysia is a public research university in the country. Our school is one of the best leading providers of aerospace engineering education and research. Founded in 1969, it is among the oldest institute of higher learning in the country. With around 28,300 postgraduate and undergraduate students in 2009, USM is one of the largest universities in terms of enrollment in the country. We came across this competition through our advisor, Dr. No Elmi, then we formed this group of 11 undergrad students. We also have tremendous support from our experienced TRA mentor, Julian, in giving us technical advice about rocketry. Our school has provided ample support from financial aid to providing facilities to design and manufacture our rocket. We are the first team, not only from our school, but also in the nation to launch a student-made high-powered rocketry. Heba rocket consists of four main parts which are airframes, nose cone, couplers and fins where the airframes were fabricated while the nose cone, couplers and fins were bought from local and international markets. The diameter of the rocket is 6.15 inches for outer, 6 inches for inner with total length of 130 inches. The fabrication of the rocket was done by hand layer process using woven roving fiberglass and epoxy resins required for it. A 6 inch outer diameter aluminum tube was used as a mandrel for the fabrication of the body tube. The propulsion system of Hebat uses a reloadable composite aerotech motor M2000R98mm. The motor has a length of 28.82 inches and it uses the red line propellant. The motor delivers a 4 seconds burn time and the maximum thrust can reach up to 23.27 Newton. The whole propulsion subsystem weighs about 19 to 1 pound. For centering rings, plywood and fiberglass were used to fabricate them. In order to enhance the strength of the centering rings, fiberglass was sandwiched in between two pieces of plywood rings and rocket proxy is used to attach them together. In payload team, we design and build a nano satellite which collects and transmits environmental data to the ground station. The Neton satellite weighs 3.16 pounds with a height of 13.78 inches and a diameter of 5.85 inches. The NanoSat will carry a 5.04 pounds of dummy block, metal plate engraved with names of fund contributors, medals with company sponsors, a little astronaut and a V50 camera that will record the launch of the rocket. Heba rocket requires a recovery system for us to retrieve back the rocket safely after its flight. The rocket consists of a dual deployment system which consists of a main parachute and a drop parachute. Here, the avionic system plays a role to deploy those parachutes at selected altitude. At Apogee, the Altus Metrum EZ Mini and the missile was RRC-3 will eject black powder to release the drop parachute. The drop parachute will reduce rocket descent speed to 65 feet per second. At 900 feet upon descent, the main parachute will come out and reduce rocket descent speed to 70 feet per second and make a safe landing. So our purpose of participation in Spaceport America Cup is to gain the experience of building and launching a high-powered rocket. Because as Malaysians, we have never gained such experiences here. And I believe that Spaceport America Cup is the best and a golden opportunity for us. Not only that, we also want to engage with other rocketeers from all around the world who come to Spaceport America Cup to demonstrate and launch their project. So with such experience and knowledge, I believe that we are able to kickstart Malaysia's rocketry development and also set a benchmark for the university students here in rocketry field. So with that, we from WOW Rocketry USM looking forward for this year's Spaceport America Cup. <laughs>